Yeah, a lot of fun. It's been it's non-stop. The problem with Adult Hill is he wants to get here, it's, it's non-stop. It's been a bit rock and roll so far. Um, you've done quite a few festivals. What is so special about Hard Rock Hell? I think it's the, the kind of the location and the kind of environment. We, uh, when we first heard about it, they're having a metal festival and a holiday camp. You're kind of like, what, what, what? But um, it, it makes perfect sense. It's, you go to, you go into the arena, you watch eight or nine really good bands, um, go to the bar, get some beer, stumble home, 200 yards away, you're in your chalet, you wake up in the morning, you're hungry, you're hungover, you walk 200 yards away some breakfast. It's just, it's, no, it's just a great idea. No tents, no port Yeah, you it's have a toilet. toilet. <laughs> yeah, it's all very luxurious and festival settings. So, the uh, people who are here this weekend, and just general audiences who haven't seen Ash Parade before, before, what can they expect from one of your shows? A lot of classic heavy, heavy rock crafts. Uh, we've got a, the, the, this new era that we're moving into, we've recorded an al a new album which we've played a lot of songs from. Uh, so there's a good variety. And, uh, yeah, a lot of energetic. It's, it's full on, it's a pretty old school kind of heavy metal full on, sure. So, the new album, tell us more about that one. Uh, we've been working on it for a little over a year. Um, getting everything done. It's finished. We just it's going for kind of mastering, and then we're giving it to people to see what we can do. Um, tour wise and promotion next year. Um, but no, it's it's, it's the, the album that we we kind of always wanted to make until we make the next one. <laughs> um, so, so yeah. There's a lot more range of styles in it. We've got a, lot, a wider range. It goes from the heavy stuff to kind of more ballad and epic stuff. To, a whole whole mixture of some rock and roll. As well. So, um, who, are your, who are your influences? Are there any bands playing at the weekend? Do you Yeah, I mean, a lot of our influences are Sabbath, the classics, you know, sort of Black Sabbath, and Dalek, and ACDC, things like that. But uh, yeah, from, from the band's point, this, this uh, weekend, Diamond Head, yeah, Head Saxon, yeah. so. can't go wrong with Diamond Head. I mean, Metallica can, can cover them, then, yeah, yeah that says it all. But no, it's, it's the, the, the new album is kind of, and, and the last album is it's a real mix of styles. Um, and it's just because we all bring different things to the table. It's, it's, it's good. It keeps having an interest. You don't get to that kind of same riff, same key kind of situation. Everybody's just different. Tables get bigger. Yeah. It needs to be up on the Yeah. I fancy one's beautiful. Yeah. Am I right in saying that you guys covered Murder Heads Overkill as a B side yeah. Dark City? Why that song? Because <laughs> we play it really well. <laughs> because they hate the drummer. Because they like it. Yeah. I think we've always done covers when we started off. We actually started off playing covers to start with them. Ended up doing our own stuff. But, um, I don't know, that, that song is it's it's such a good song to end a gig with. You know? and, uh, in fact, we did a, a cover set uh, on the first night of Hard Rock Hill. Uh, you know, it, it has to end with it. So I think we just you know, record and the album, the last album, we thought we were just doing that. Kind of, uh, rough record, not like, you know, Looking forward to the Lemmy movie? Yeah. So, well, it's only, it's on show on Monday the 7th. Yeah. For one day, and selected like, singers, and then it's on the movie. So, we're rushing home to it. You guys are still on sign, right? Yeah. Any label interest in it? Yeah. Well, I'm actually, um, the big thing about it, I think one of the big men, you know, well, one of the big deals about the energy this year at Hard Rock Hill is that we've got a four label, four or five labels, so we'll check it out, so, um, so no pressure. <laughs> um, they're saying right now that there seems to be a thrash revival about, uh, would you agree with that? And would you say it's come about at the right time for you guys? Um, I, I think it has been, there, there definitely has been a thrash revival, but I think, I think we can, we don't really, Kind of, I don't think we're, we're kind of fast enough to be doing that. Yeah. Uh, no, it is the, the kind of music, it's like everything else, it goes in circles. It's, I mean, Saxon started to get really big again a couple of years ago, and the Into Love, the last album, was, was awesome. And it's, it's Saxon, but it was new Saxon. Yeah, it's, it's like we kind of, we kind of aren't going along that kind of line, because it's, we don't kind of, um, the thrash of it, like, just, you've never really fell into that category. And um, I don't think Metallica and Negative is awesome. Um, Slayer. Um, but stuff like that, it's not something. I don't, I don't really know. It's, I 
must have started Germany. I'm just glad it's all back and seen it anyway. Our opening music, the thing is that we played, the thing is that we listened to it. It's never been fashionable, you know. It's never been new metal. It's just kind of like, you know, sitting in the middle of it all, all kind of happens around us. Yeah, it's just kind of like, 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 it's The first half of the next year, that's the best I can say. Okay, and can we expect a tour as well with that? Yeah, for sure. Two and hopefully some support to us as well. There's lots more festivals to come. There's many of the festivals as we've been back next year. There's going to be some new stuff from the album going up on MySpace. That's MySpace.com. So anyone who's interested in that, please have some of the new stuff. Yeah, yeah.